Big news coming out of professional volleyball, and of course, Nebraska is at the center of it. Joining us now is Omaha Supernova and Husker great Gina mancuso Przaski. Thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely, it's an honor. I'll let you say it. What's the big news? Okay, so the big news that everybody has been waiting for in suspense um, is the schedule release. So for the first time in history, a women's professional volleyball league is taking place in 2024 with the Pro Volleyball Federation. And that schedule is finally completed and it will be revealed to everybody. So we're really excited and can't wait to see what the lineup looks like. It's starting with a match right here in Nebraska. What does that mean to you to kick this all off? Yes, so that is even more exciting for all Nebraskans because the first ever Major League Women's Professional Volleyball match is happening right here in Omaha. And so personally, I might sound a little biased because I'm from here, but I think that they deserve it above all else. Nebraska fans are true volleyball fans from head to toe. They're loyal to the end and they just truly love the volleyball game. And so um, I think there's no better deserving crowd than the state of Nebraska, and I'm very excited for them. I'm proud of them because I really feel and believe that they earned this, you know, throughout their whole volleyball history. They have broken records left and right, and they always show up. And so Omaha, Lincoln, state of Nebraska is always a highly demanded place to play volleyball because they know people are going to come and support. And so they truly did earn this and I'm so excited for them. Yeah, I was going to say, what do you think this says about how the volleyball uh, industry or, or volleyball uh, teams see this as a whole? Yeah, they, like I said, they are incredible fans through and through. And when I'm talking to my other Supernova teammates who were playing in the Big Ten, that was part of a reason that they chose Omaha because they know that the crowd here, the fans here are incredible. They're powerful, they're supportive. And so it's definitely appealing and it's kind of an advantage for the state of Nebraska um, because they are the best fans and players on the court understand the impact that they can have in a home setting. And I mean, even in a way, the Nebraskans show up even in a way setting. So, um, I think it's just a true testament to uh, how great of fans they are. What are you learning about the teams, about the matchups, and how competitive this will be? I think from the get-go, the push of this league is that we're real professional volleyball. And so that's just going to be the goal from the very first point is we're just going to be uh, the highest level and we're going to be professional through and through and it's just going to be a step up from college which is extremely exciting and um very competitive and so obviously professional is the next step up and so that's what we're striving to do and just being sure to provide a lot of entertainment for the crowd and um, make it very competitive and exciting because that's what volleyball is all about it's a very very exciting and entertaining game how do you prepare for this matchup? Because there's probably no game tape, nothing for you to kind of gauge what the other team's going to do. Yeah, it's a clean slate for sure. And so I think that instills a, in all the athletes that you have to respect your opponent no matter what. Um, you have to be prepared for whatever because you're right, there is no scouting. Um, sure, we can look back on their college play and whatnot, but every player grows and develops. So, um, it's really just walking in every arena, every single match, thinking, okay, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. And we just got to focus on um, getting the victory, getting the, the win, and like I said, respect every single opponent. It'll be fun having an absolutely clean slate. So how do fans, how do we see you play? Um, well, we are playing at the CHI Center in Omaha, so obviously we would love for you to come watch live in person. Um, I know the PVF also will be uh, having our matches live on TV. Um, I also believe that they will be having a live stream um, if TV is not available. Um, but 
um, that's, that's it. We would love for people to come watch in person. That would be the best, obviously. Um, but we, we are going to be on television or online. And I hear you have an app that can help people get more information. Yeah. So it is amazing. I know the team worked very, very hard on it. Um, they truly created something so efficient and so easy to navigate. And they did a very, very great job of providing any details that you might possibly need. Um, they tried to think of all the questions that a fan might ask and, and provide that answer in the app. So please go download it. Um, not only will you stay informed, but it's just a fun way to stay connected to the team. And um, I know there's like a roster on there and a fan fun page where you can do like coloring book pages of us players. So it's really, really neat. And the team worked very hard on it. So please download it. It'll be very uh, beneficial to you. All right. Omaha Supernovas set to make history next year. Any last uh, message to fans? I just want to thank the state of Nebraska. Like I said earlier, they, they earned this. I truly believe that um, this historic first opening match here in Omaha was is just Nebraska is very deserving of that. And so as a player, I just want to thank you guys for all of the, the years that you've done this because it didn't just happen today. This has been happening for 30 plus years. So um, we're very excited and we're um, happy to have all of you guys a part of history. All right. Thanks so much, Gina. Yeah, thank you. All right. We'll have more details on our website, Nebraska.tv.